We understand our world through narrative. We understand our world through stories. We're going to discuss narrative art today. So make a big bold thing across the top of your paper and draw that shape where you record that. Three act structure. Thesis, antithesis, synthesis, or stasis. And you can label these one, two, three. There's still more stuff coming out, I agree, but I, I think that for this narrative, the, uh, the height of those riots, when journalists were being arrested, when journalists were being threatened by the police, when cameras were being seized, when civilians were being shot with rubber bullets, and the entire country got up in arms until a different police force came in and tried to de-escalate the tension and create a falling action there, right? But we, uh, the difference between a movie and life is that life is full of inciting incidents and rising actions. And with life, it'll look something more like this, where you have this happen. And it gets real blurry about where those lines are. You have lots of inciting incidents, lots of rising actions, things start to fall off. So Ferguson in a 24 hour news cycle will become one more story that gets lost in that mix. And unlike seeing a movie that is two hours long and has a really nice and tight ending wrapped up in a bow where there is a climax and then you have a falling action and a resolution, these stories will continue to spin off and it, and it becomes a larger story. It becomes part of our national story. It becomes part of our country's ethos where in a few years, Ferguson might be a point in history that we point out and say that was a climax of our country's civil unrest. Yes? I mean, it's kind of like how people really stop talking about like, the Ukraine situation and how they're focused on the ISIS situation. The news cycle moves on, but Putin's still over there doing what he does, right? So you're, you're studying Ferguson. Let it be something that teaches you about how narrative is discussed in this country. Because what is the news but a big national conversation? You have lots of different outlets reporting on the same thing. I write for UPI, but there's somebody writing for AP and somebody writing for Reuters and somebody writing for Time and somebody writing for Newsweek and somebody writing for Guardian and somebody writing for every other outlet. We're all reporting on the same story. We're all just telling it a little different.